What's unusual about this setup, I know, is, is that uh, the release of such intensely cold air out of the interior of the Arctic. Now, what's happened globally, in actual fact, is that we've had this cold air locked in place across the Arctic so far this winter. Now, now usually you get sort of perturbations in the jet stream, which help to distribute that cold and, and sort of water it down a little bit, if you like. What's happened this winter so far is that is the, the vortex, the polar vortex has been very strong, which has meant that the cold air has been locked in to Arctic Canada for a very long period of time. And because uh, this time of year, air just gets colder and colder and colder if it's stuck in one place, that's exactly what's happened. So this very strong jet stream has kept that cold air locked in. And then suddenly it's been allowed to be released. It sort of splurged out southwards due to various meteorological factors. So it's, it's the fact that the cold's been kept in for such a long time and now it's being released. That's the reason it's so remarkably cold. It's also the reason it's why it's penetrating so far southwards. It's like a density current because cold air is dense. And so once it pushes out, it goes a long way. And so even, perhaps even more remarkable is how low the temperatures are gonna get further south across the US down as far as the panhandle, we're talking about highs through Tuesday of around zero. Now, I'm no horticulturalist, but I imagine that's going to cause some problems to crops down there uh, because, you know, we're talking about 20-year lows. And I would imagine that places down sort of uh, Louisiana, places like that, down towards Georgia, northern parts of Florida, won't be, we'll, we'll be getting temperatures which they have not had for decades down there. So that's a, a major concern, I would imagine. We can also imagine what it would do to wildlife as well. Uh, the wind chill is the thing that really <coughs> bites at the body as you go outside. Does that wind chill also, though, mean that, well, it's the wind that's also taking the storm away from areas that it's crossing? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's not, it's not going to last that long. It's, it's a quick shot. Um, by, the, by the middle of the week, uh, the weather system will have moved on uh, and the cold air will have swept out into the Atlantic and it gets warmed by the Atlantic. So there's a bit of a myth here in the UK that uh, what the, the US gets we get a week later. Simply not true because as soon as cold air floods out over the Atlantic Ocean, it warms very quickly. But just a footnote on the UK, uh, as I explained earlier on about this vortex and the fact that the cold air has been locked in, uh, that's very much related to what's been happening in the UK and parts of Europe with the very, very strong winds, a strong jet stream. It's all part of the same machine. We've had this very, very strong vortex going around the world. Uh, and that's what's giving the UK and parts of uh, Northern Europe this sustained period of very wet and windy weather. It's all joined up, Adnan.